Hi YouTube, this is Pen Withers. Um, as you'll see, I've got a bit of company tonight. This is uh, Monty, our dog de Bordeaux. Uh, we rescued him, he's been with us for about uh, nine weeks. So he seems to be my shadow. Um, as mentioned in the last video, I had this uh, ransom and rapier crane from Backman. I thought we'd uh, take it out of the box and have a look. Um, looks to be a lovely bit of kit. Obviously, uh, it comes in quite a nice box. Um, and you've got the, I think the red bit there is for actually a bit there, just for removing the jibs. Obviously, a little bit of crane detail there, a pair of steps. Some couplings. Um, couplings with a load of uh, signs that you can actually uh, put on as extra detail. It looks like uh, quite a big book of instructions. Quite a few pages there. Tells you how to operate it. So I'll just pop this uh, camera on the tripod and we'll take it out and have a look. Right, um, just looking at the instructions on this and it says we recommend running this model on curves of less, of no less than third radius. It will operate on second radius curves but has been found to derail on second radius reverse curves and when reversing through small radius points um, so the way it's uh, set up obviously the first bit is this uh, they call that the jib runner so it's got some uh, toolboxes on either side quite nice detail and obviously a support just there for the jib to sit on then you have one of these, they call these uh, relieving bogies. So a nice, nice bit of detail there. I don't know if you can just see. Light it in the best. And obviously that would connect up to there. And then the next is the actual crane section. Obviously it looks quite delicate um, and obviously the detail we've got the drums there holding all the cables and uh, just in there there's quite a few cogs and allegedly these bits here turn when you raise things up and down it will revolve 360 degrees on its axis Um, there's a little bit here on the back that the chimney folds up and I presume that just clips in place. And I don't know if you can see just there and there, there's two little covers which uh, obviously you can, there's a magnetic cap on this uh, tool here to lift those out and then you can use that sorry this uh, red controller you can put that into the back to raise a jib and move the cables so nice bit of detail it's uh, very smart and coupling wise I think it just looks like there's a Oh, there we are. So it's just like a little pin connection in here that uh, connects them together. And then obviously you've got another one of those, uh, what do they call them, Re relieving bogies, which connects up to the other end. And just quite simply lift up, drop in, and that is connected. 
so if you just bear with me we'll uh, get out the little controller and see how that works right just to have a look around you've got these um, outriggers here that will slide uh, in and out on the uh, both ends um, there's a little bit of detail here on the cab the roof just flaps up if you can just see that there um, and then the bit on the back of the crane I just got this little red tool it's got a magnet on one end and like a square key on the other end so you can just see a cover there so obviously it takes the uh, drop that down obviously it's a magnet so it doesn't want to leave go of it and then there's another one there oh it's gone on the floor good start so um, the top one there obviously you've got like the square key a uh, little bit fiddly to get in um, but obviously that will lower down whoop, lower down that jib section uh, now obviously trying to video it and I think you know it's going to be handy to pose it but not I think if you've got the video camera close by trying to pose things and it's going to take a lot of turns to drop that jib down so I don't want to waste time with that this one here does the um, the actual hook now this I did just let me get it paused up and we'll focus in hopefully little things please little minds but I thought this was quite good you can see the uh, actual pulley there turns around it's obviously collected in with all that uh, gear in that I pointed out in there but the pistons on both or that actual cog on both sides actually revolves I mean, yeah, a bit of a gimmick, but it shows what detail they've put in. Um, I, uh, that's come out a bit. Hopefully you'll see the, uh, and the hook is just, I'll just give it a few turns. quite slow so I mean I can't see that you're ever going to use this to be honest but you might want to pose up to get a photograph um, be interesting to see if it's in a rake whether it will um, how can I say not topple over if you try lifting something with it but it's got that little yellow spreader bar there to hook on to that so you could possibly lift a wagon with it but oh no, it looks uh, looks really smart. Nice bit of detail. Obviously, I went for the red one because it ties in with what I'm doing. Um, as for the price of it, yeah, it's, I think the retail's two hundred and sixty pounds. I see Kerno had them up at two hundred and twelve. So I haven't really looked around at any other places, but uh, yeah, it looks quite quite a nice model so uh, is it worth the money I think it's like all these models now they're getting very expensive but I think uh, nicely detailed a lot of detail in it quite a difference from the the old Hornby uh, crane so yeah I think they've done a nice job on it but you know it's I was very lucky I had it given to me so mate of mine pass it on to me so I'm like over the moon um, 
I had planned to buy it after Christmas, but uh, he beat me to it. So, so what we'll do is uh, we'll get it hitched up in the train and uh, see what it looks looks like passing through. Right, I've uh, hitched it up to Western Sultan. There's one I've had here sat in a box for a while. Got some plates on that today. So uh, we'll just run it out of the yard. Now obviously this is running over short radius points which it seems quite happy with. Obviously it's going quite slow, so I would hope we wouldn't get any issues. But all in all, quite a Nice looking model. Um, I see on the uh, actual carriage here where the boom sits, there is a little bit of, uh, there's like a slider there. So obviously when it's navigating around the curves, it seems to work quite well. But yeah, nice, uh, nice looking model. But we'll get it it's up to a breakdown train and uh, we'll have another look and perhaps get a few shots of it going through. Right, there we are. That's uh, done its first full circuit of pen withers, obviously through the helixes, um, up and down the hills. Ran really well. So, nice, uh, nice looking model. A fair bit of money, but I think probably with the detail on it, um, 
well worth the money. I did happen to see today on Facebook someone posted up an O gauge equivalent. Um, this, like I say, I think Kerno are doing it for 212 at the moment. But there's a, a kit that you can buy, and it's from Sansparial Works. Um, never heard of them before, but a lovely looking model, the one that I've seen on Facebook. Um, but this is an O gauge kit, and that is £840. And obviously, you've got to make it, paint it, put all the stickers on. So I think for the money, it's in bad value. I know things are getting really expensive now, but uh, it's something that, for the detail on it, I think it's superb. So we'll leave it there. See what you think. Um, comments appreciated on that. So a bit of feedback. Um, we'll leave it to that. As I say, bye for now.